a pork tenderloin has reached a temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit in an oven. It is pulled out and allowed to cool in a room of temperature 70 degrees. After 20 minutes, the roast has a temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit. How much longer will it take for the roast to cool to 120 degrees Fahrenheit? Use the formula T, that's the temperature at any given time, small t, equals TM, that's the temperature of the medium, or that is the temperature, the ambient temperature, so room, t whatever the room's temperature is, plus T sub zero, that's the initial temperature minus the uh, surrounding temperature, so that's the difference of the initial temperature and the surrounding temperature, times E to the negative KT. So, to solve this problem, we're going to first have to solve for K, because we know what T is, what small t is, that is 20 minutes. But first we have to solve for K, that's, that's this um, rate of decay in temperature, if you could think of it like that. So let's plug in what we do know. After 20 minutes, the, temp the roast is cooled down to 140 degrees. That equals the, the room's temperature of 70 degrees plus the difference, that's T sub 0 minus T sub M. That is 160 degrees was the initial temperature minus the room's temperature of 70 degrees. So that's 90. I'll just plug that in right here. Multiplied by E to the negative k times, we said we know that it's 20 minutes. Now let's solve for this exponent, this unknown k. So subtract 40 from each side, I'm sorry, subtract 70 from each side, and you get 70 equals 90 times e to the negative 20k, a little bit easier to write it like that, rather than negative k times 20. Divide each side by 90, and you get 7 over 9 equals e to the negative 20k. At this point, we'll take the natural log of each side. So that's the process to solve for an exponent, is to isolate the base and its exponent, and then take the natural log of each side. And when you do that, when you take a log of a base and its exponent, you can take that exponent and move it out to the front, multiplied by the natural log. So writing what we have there, we have the natural log of 7 over 9. And by the way, you could certainly uh, evaluate this right at this point, the natural log of 7 over 9. But I'm going to leave it in there just so I don't have to mess with rounding numbers equals negative 20k multiplied by the natural log of e. This natural log of e is just 1. So now we can just divide everything by a negative 20. So in the end, you have the natural log of 7 over 9 divided by negative 20. And I specifically put that uh, 7 over 9 in parentheses because if you're going to plug all of this in into your calculator at once, make sure you use those, cal uh, those parentheses. That equals k. Okay. Plugging all of this in gives us, I'm going to write it this way, k equals 0 0.01 two five six six it goes on farther but that's that's holding on to enough decimal places for now you try to hold on to to very many as, as many as you can really or as whatever is reasonable because you don't want to round too early definitely you wouldn't want to round to point zero one just right there point zero one that that wouldn't be give you enough accuracy okay we're going to take the same formula and plug in numbers that we 
want to know for the end. That is, we're solving now for little t, the time, and how long to cool to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So 120 degrees is our, our large t. A lot of the other stuff is still the same. The surrounding temperature is 70 degrees. The initial difference in temperature was 90 degrees. That comes from right here. This T sub 0 minus T sub M rate times E to the negative 0 0.012566 T. I'll try to fit that in there. There is a T there. Okay, let's subtract 70 from each side and you get 50 equals 90 times E to the negative 0.012566 2566t divide each side by 90 so we can isolate the base and its exponent and you get 5 ninths the rest of this is going to follow very similar to the last problem 5 ninths equals e to the negative 0.012566t take the natural log of each side and then we can take that exponent and move it out to the front or multiply it by the natural log of e and we get the natural log of 5 ninths equals negative 0 0.012566 t times the natural log of e and remember this natural log of e is just 1 so divide everything by negative uh, 0 0.012566 and I will jump to the answer here and say t it's little t for time equals 47 minutes uh, real quick here it says how much longer will it take so just it was already in there for 20 or it was already out of the oven for 20 minutes so let's subtract 20 minutes and say we'll need it to be out an additional 27 minutes. Look out for those trick problems if you're doing a multiple choice test because uh, they would have 47 minutes as one of the incorrect choices. We have to say, we have to answer what's being asked. How much longer will it take? All right, there's an example using Newton's Law of Cooling.